Welcome to Endorphasmic, where we talk about all things endorphasm. I am your hostess, Erica Porter, and I want to talk about, do you really know who you are? Do you understand? Do you know what drives you? Do you know what terrifies you? Do you know why you do the things that you do? Do you understand how others perceive you? There is really no way change certain aspects of your life if you don't know what you're changing about yourself in the first place. And I all often have to sit and reflect and I'm not really good at expressing what I want five years from now, 10 years from now. And a lot of that is that I am so focused on making this particular moment great, making myself great in this moment, that my fear is that I somehow lose myself in this moment, the joy of this moment, really um, capitalizing on on this very moment when I'm too focused on the future. And this is a fault of mine. And I understand that I, I have really big dreams and I'm ambitious. And really what I want is to bring brand awareness to really have people understand what the endorphasm is all about and it really not even being about the four walls of the gym it's really about the feeling no matter where you are and how empowering the endorphasm is and that I am driven to bring artistic expression to the endorphasm and do what's never been done. It was, I listened to something the other day that talked about just because it hasn't been done doesn't mean that it can't be done. And so I've had to sit and really reflect on, do I really know who I am? Do I know what drives me? Do I know what terrifies me? And really thinking so far into the future is terrifying for me because I feel that I lose a sense of who I am in the now. I am acutely aware of how I'm perceived by other people, and I am incredibly self-aware, but I do understand and In knowing what terrifies me, that's where I have to begin in order to change something within myself and to say, hey, listen, it's okay to focus on something beyond right now and to know that just because something hasn't been done doesn't mean that it can't be done and that I have to continue thinking outside of the box and I have to continue pushing forward with what my vision is and that at some point the I will find the individuals that can can bring what I'm trying to create to life I wish that I was artistic I am looking for a concept artist or concept artists to help me bring the the vision and the artistic expression of what endorphasm is to life and to be able to then sell that. And because we have so many different lifestyle and fitness brands and they all kind of say sell the same thing and sell and and God, I can't speak and say the same thing. You know, there's a lot of unleash the beast and there's a lot of, you know, you go girl or whatever it is. It's, it's all very trite to me. And there is nothing artistically that's expressing what the endorphasm is, the, the electric component of it, the, the bringing the, the intangible and making it tangible through artistic expression. So just think while you're driving, listening to this, 
or sitting at your house, just you, you have a moment to reflect, to really know who you are, really understand what drives you, understand what terrifies you, why you do the things that you do, understanding how others perceive you, because that is a reality that we live in. If you don't give a shit, you don't give a shit, and that's fine. I mean, ultimately, I am, I, I, I walk to the beat of my own drum, but I will never do so in a way that belittles anyone else, or um, I try to push myself ahead of someone at their expense, if that makes sense. Self-awareness and understanding that to really change your life, you have to know what you're changing about yourself to begin with. So take a moment and reflect and think about those questions. And hopefully the example of myself helps a little bit. I work in progress. I am very deliberate about being better than I am right now. Sometimes that's simply through movement. Sometimes that's education, reading, paying attention to other people, listening. I learned so much from listening to other people. I am so grateful that each day people share their stories and their journeys and their life with me. And I really treasure that. I treasure the moments. I treasure being part of people's lives even if it's just for that one hour for them to, to feel better and to and to be better. But listening is powerful and teaches me more than anything that I could ever say. So on that note, love, health, and happiness, ways, respect.